in your plan for our lives. I love it when you say, I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. There is a people that God, that a spirit of expectation even now would come forth for such a time as this. And dear God, we give you praise, honor, and great glory simply because you're Abba, your Father. You're the Almighty God. You're the Omnipotent One. And Father, as we call upon your name, Lord, we're not ashamed to proclaim liberty, especially for those that are captive. And Lord, you said, I come to set the captives free. I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. God began to bless, begin to bless your people, I pray now, in Jesus' name. And for this, we'll give you praise. Amen. We want to thank God right now for each and every one of you. And because we do love you, we love you with the love of the Lord. God's grace is truly amazing. I want to thank God for his spirit that's now blessing every one of you. As you begin to get up this morning and look to the hills, why? Your help, my help, our help comes from the Lord, the creator, the maker, our God. Right now, you can call that number, area code 313-838-1035. And I want you to know something. God made you a promise, and he's a promise keeper. And God promised that he's going to save your loved one, your children, your family. And to God, it means so much to us especially now, and I'm grateful because the promises of God, according to the word of God, hallelujah, is yea, and it's amen. Come on, somebody. Let's go with the promise of God. For the Lord has spoken not only once, twice, so many times, because when God makes us a promise, he declares it, he decrees it, and he knows exactly what you have need of before you call. God says, I'm coming with the answer right now. And a lot of us need some answers because we don't quite understand the way the Lord takes us and the life that he gives us. He said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Here it is. For all the promises of God, note that, in him are yea and Amen. <laughs> Unto the glory of God. All the promises of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20, he goes even farther and he makes this For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That revelation of that scripture has come upon me more and more and given me such a great, great understanding from the time that God chose me and called me even to now. I begin to understand why God loved the world, seeing that you and I were going to come into this world, a very wicked place full of sin. We were going to be born in sin, and if the devil could have his way, we were going to be shaped in iniquity. But God says, I'm not going to permit you to be shaped into sin because I love you. And I want you to know something. Because God loves you, he wants to do something for you right now. If you could just believe, you could receive the greatest miracle. First of all, because God, our Heavenly Father, he's a promise keeper. And he promised you something. Yes, you're going to weather this storm because it snowed. But at the same time, it don't always snow. It rained. It don't always rain. There was a hurricane, a tornado. But this too will pass. Because God is a promise keeper, the sun is going to shine once again in your life. If you could just believe and receive and know that he is God in Jesus' name. Pick up the phone and dial area code 313. 838-1035. And whatever you need, let's believe. Why? Because God promised. Yes, he did. And he promised it for you. Don't forget, my God, your God, our God is a promise keeper. 
In Jesus' name, amen. And for this, we'll give him praise. This is the Supernatural Word Ministry. My name is Pastor Tate. I thank God for all of you that have come in. We do broadcast in a very unusual way, but yet we thank God for it. On 103.5 WMUZ, The Light. And we also do it on YouTube. And uh, you can go there. I think the page is Kenneth Tate page for now. But it's the Lifeline Prayer Line, Church Without Walls International. And then we also do it on Facebook. Now we're moving on to Apple. And we're going on to Twitter. We're going on to your smart TVs, Roku, and we're going to be all over the world. Pretty soon for the seniors, we'll have apps. And we have these apps. These apps, you could just touch the button. And once you touch that button on the app, the Spirit of God will bless you. So I want you to come and to join us right now so that God can do a great, sincere work and he can bless you and your family and your loved ones, especially now in Jesus' name. Because God made all of us a promise. And one of the greatest promises is not the Father's will that any should perish, but that all come to one place, and that's repentance. Once we repent and we tell God, Lord, maybe I missed it. Maybe I made a mistake. I want to sanctify myself wholly and be in your presence. And I want you to get the glory right now in Jesus' name. And for this, we'll give the Lord praise. Amen. All right. You can call that prayer line number again, 313-838-1035. I'm looking forward to you, beloved, pressing your way up the King's Highway. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, Jerome, and God bless you, sir. What the call drop? Well, okay, call back, Jerome. Amen. I give God praise for that. Any more calls? Mine's open, okay. I'm talking to the engineer, so <laughs> I thank God for that. As we begin to press and pray and believe each and every day and trust God, I know that God can do anything. Good morning to all of you, my intercessors, prayer warriors, those that's on the prayer line and that's waiting to answer the phone for the multiplicity of people that need the Lord, especially now. I thank God for Betsy. She's up and she's roaring forward by the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God. And I want to thank God uh, for Pastor Joan and Larry. I thank God right now in Jesus' name, God is really blessing their house and i want to thank god for all of you right now because god is giving you a breakthrough right now and some of you that don't know what a breakthrough is that mean god is taking you out of the bondage out of the clutches of the enemy and he is giving you the victory in every area of your life so come on let's begin to seek the face of god together because there's a need that everybody have, and that's just simply to believe God. And I'm one that believe God against all odds. And of course, sometimes you wonder, uh, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, tribulation, work at patience, patience, hope, hope, experience, and experience make it not a shame. There's a time for all of our lives to get into that place that God can erase your past and move you into a place called destiny why he has purpose and he loves you. Yes, he does. And because God so loved, and I mean, it was a solo when God says, I'm going to go in and I'm going to bless my children. I'm going to drop my mantle and my anointing upon each and every one of them. And I'm going to open up the books and I'm going to begin to see where we stand. And right now, good. Because God says, I, I love you still. Even though you've been through some rough places and some hard times, God says, I love you still. Will you submit to my will and my purpose? I want you to know, because I love you, I made you a promise. Therefore, for all of you that will love the Lord with your whole heart, 
Let's trust him. Let's believe him right now. I believe God with you, and I'm going to stand with you. And we're going to stand together in that liberty. Come on, somebody. As you pick up the phone, we're going to intercede. We're going to bombard heaven because you've got children. You've got brothers, mothers, fathers, fathers. You've got brothers, mother, father, sisters, cousins, nieces, nephews, co-workers, friends. we got so much to pray about. we got to run and get to the throne. We've got to first submit and surrender ourselves to the Lord. I really like Romans 12, 1, when Paul says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your most reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. My mind, my mind, my mind has got to be renewed in spirit and in truth. And I'm asking for my mind right now, where the time is now being spent, as I call upon the Lord, that my mind become the mind of Christ, Philippians 2.5. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being made in the form and image of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant. I'm asking many of you, as you press your way up the King's Highway and get into the presence of God, may the Spirit of God begin to bless you, robe you and anoint you, quicken you and strengthen you. Oh yes, it's that time where our minds be in the forefront, doing that which is right in the sight of God. Will you come? Will you join us right now and may the mind of Christ strengthen you, build you up on every side in the name of Jesus. What God has for you, guess what? It is for you. And God says, I'm ready to bless you. And the blessing of the Lord, I'm opening up the windows of heaven and it's going to come down good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. I'm going to touch people and give you the favor. And I'm going to cause men to give into your bosom. Because you made your mind my mind, you're going to walk in my favor, saith the Lord. And as you walk in my favor, ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from the Lord God our Father and Jesus Christ. I simply believe, I really believe that God can do anything. Oh, we give him praise. Hallelujah. Well, I want you to know that we're pressing. And we're praying each and every day we trust God to do great and mighty things. We're not in the political arena. As some people would think, no, I don't want to go there. This world is in bad shape. The United States have committed abomination to God. And God is angry. Some of the things that we accept, we should not. We should not accept, but because we're people and we love the Lord, there's certain things that the enemy would try to come upon us with and make us think this is right, that is right. Oh, they were born that way. Oh, this is wrong, and that is wrong, and this is right. Let me tell you something. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. Once you move into the bloodline of Jesus Christ by receiving him as your personal Lord and Savior, God begins to do a work, and that work is now being done in many of you. I'm asking many of you right now that you call, and we're going to play a song to the glory of God. May this song be a blessing to you, and may it minister and open up corridors of doors, especially for you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, Facebook partners and friends. Amen. I got to do one thing. I want you to give me just one minute. <laughs> I'm going to have to do this quickly. And I got to get some orange juice. I know you don't mind. Amen.
just want many of you to know that <clears throat> my little studio is sitting right here next to my refrigerator. And I have to go and get some more juice every now and then. I want to thank God for all of you that's coming on board with me this morning. God bless you. And we love you. Yes, we do. I know that God is ready to do something, but he's got to find a vessel that he can do it through. And the vessel that can actually do it through is you. So I'm asking many of you to come on with me as we go up the King's Highway and believe God together. There's so much that we have to stand in the word of God for. <clears throat> There's a lot of souls that's in trouble in the valley of decision. And they're trying to make a decision. I've got to get to the perfect prophetic will of God. So I want you to continue to pray with me, especially this morning, in Jesus' name, amen. And I'm believing God with you. I want you to believe God with me, amen. Good morning. Bessie, good morning. Shirley, good morning. God bless you, Joan, Kanar, bless you this morning. Good morning, man of God. God bless you. Amen. I'm looking down here to see how many are coming in. And those of you that's with me there, I want you to go to Facebook. And um, when you go to Facebook, I want you to, no, Facebook, I'm on Facebook too. But I want you to go to uh, uh, YouTube. And we get to YouTube, I want you to push uh, the button with thumbs up and submit i believe i think that's what it is and then the next thing i want you to do is to put, ring the bell because i got to make those numbers go up so i need you as intercessors and prayer words i need more people to help me to pray people say i'm praying for you that's one thing but sometimes people say pray that means they want you to pray right then that's important a lot of people are praying but they're not praying so please pray I need you to pray, especially now, in Jesus' name. WMUZ FM HD1 Detroit 1035 The Light streaming online at WMUZ.com Detroit made Bible strong. Let me see. Is it on now? No, I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Well, we give praise. God bless you. Amen. Well, we give God the praise. Ah. <laughs> uh, Right now, we're getting ready to open up the lines and take some of our first callers. We're going to take our first caller. Amen. God bless you, caller. Hey, Pastor. Yes, sir. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I was calling for prayer for all my family and friends. Uh, just praying for direction, protection, health, wealth, prosperity. Coming into the new year. Yes. Just want everybody to be safe from COVID. Have you ever heard of first fruits? Who? First fruits. First fruit? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, educate me on it. When you're coming into something for the Lord, 
You always bring uh -huh. it to you get back. You're in a church, church, you go and take it for first spirit to God, to God for that year. For year. It sits a president oh. that in the midst of oh, the start of that year, that you give it yourself as your first spirit for you give it you give a nation of offering a heat offering some material thing out says I'm going to be one sure. I'm a mom. Okay. Now, now, if you can believe in God, God, God's are getting God's to, to bless you. Can you Amen. Something? Yes, sir. All right. All right. You prepare yourself. Yes, you want a you blessing, want a blessing. But, like but like God told God faithful Abraham, I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to say, Are you ready? Amen. Yes, sir. He's going to make you a blessing. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name, Jesus. may God bless you richly. And your family and your family blessed, and you to be blessed. Starting off this new year, in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. And I will make sure I do that. I did hear that. I didn't know the name of it. Amen. Um, I will. I will execute that. Thanks a lot, Pastor. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. Many of you can call area code three one three eight three eight one zero three five. We're going to, is it open? Oh, we have a caller? All oh, lines are open. Amen. All right. At one time, people will be there when the call will drop. So bear with us. We're coming through. Amen. We're weathering the storm. Area code 313-838-1035. I give God the praise because God has redeemed us. God has saved us. And God has also healed a multiplicity of us. Many of us have come to this full knowledge, especially now where God is taking us. I want you to come right now. Pick up the phone and down. Area code 313-838-1035. Amen. So I'm asking many of you to press to pray with me in the name of Jesus. I thank God for you being here, and we all are here for a reason. Now, listen, today is, I believe, Wednesday, and tomorrow's Thursday, and we're getting ready to go into Friday. We're going to have our New Year's Eve service. I'd like to invite many of you to come out to 9555 St. Mary's, that's in Detroit, and uh, join us. But we're going to start at 730, and we'll probably be out by 930. 10 o'clock. However, we're going to worship God first. And after we get through worshiping God and praising God and magnifying God, God is going to do something. Right now, we're going through a particular season. Without doubt, without reason, God want to do something. And I'm asking God to give us the favor that we need as we start of going into our new year. There was a real time that God said he was going to do something, but he had to find a vessel. So he found Jesus, his only begotten son. He asked the question in heaven, who will go for us and who will I send? And there's still a, a lamb with eyes like balls of fire, feet like solid brass, hair like sheep wool. He said, I'll go. I'll go down through 42 generations and get into a human body called flesh. And the Bible says, he which knew no sin became sin for us, that we might have a right to the tree of life. Well, I believe that God has given you this right, me this right, to now partake of the fruit of the kingdom of God by receiving God's son as a savior. Now, you may have already received him, but you have loved ones that need him and you need to pray right about now. You know, the flesh don't want nothing to do with God. The Bible says enmity towards God is not subject to the will of God, neither indeed can be. That's in Galatians. A lot of people don't realize it's a fight to pray now. But in a moment, as we go into this new year, Ain't nobody got to tell you to pray. 
you're going to pray like you never, ever prayed in your whole entire life. Because if we ever needed the Lord before, we need him now. And I believe that if I can find an individual or a person, that God's spirit would come and minister right now. In Jesus' name, area code 313-838-1035. And for this, we'll give him praise. Amen. We're going to do the station ID. WMUZ FM HD1 Detroit 1035 The Light streaming online at WMUZ.com Detroit made Bible strong. God bless you, Carl. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Good morning, Pastor Tate. God bless you. Yes, sir. I would I, like to say, ask for prayer for a couple of people if you would. Okay. I would like to ask prayer. I would like to ask prayer from Sister Crowe, from and her family, and I'd also like to ask for prayer for Brother Dale. I don't know how he's doing, but anyway, I seen Dale would you pray? Just, just two days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Dale. All right. They want to pull the plug. Oh, God. Eyes. Mm -hmm. Bill's eyes open up. He looks, and then he comes to the it's like a reaction. They had him at the point of the stage. But, uh, they want to talk but I ask God. He's coming up. So I'm believing God that Dale is going to come out of that Commodore State. He looks good. And I thank God for him now. In Jesus' name, amen. And for this, I'll give him praise. And for your family, the Spirit of God to bless you, to robe you and adorn you and to anoint you by his Spirit. In Jesus' name. And for this, we give him praise. Amen. We're praying for Paula's husband, her daughter, her two sons, her grandchildren, her whole family, her mother and her sister. And I know that the Lord is... There's going to be a great home going. Whenever they set it up, it's going to be a wonderful time. But we're going to believe God. Amen. All right. Call that prayer line number. It's open to you. Area code 313-838-1035. I want you to do that now. And I'm so grateful that many of you are here with us this morning. And as we believe God, nothing, absolutely Nothing is too hard for God. And I'm just saying that if you want something from God, if you could believe it, I see it coming to pass. And if you call and agree with me, all you got to say is that God made me a promise. And if you keep his promises, he's going to keep yours. And therefore, that's what we're here to do to do what God commissioned us to do, to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I just believe that God is ready to do that for you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Area code 313-838-1035. Amen. I'm believing God with you. In the name of Jesus. I'm so grateful that the Lord gave us this opportunity to be here this morning and to press to pray and to believe for the lost souls of humanity. And many of you that are simply going through, we're here to be a strength. The Bible says, let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak. That's why we're here. To be strong for you and you can be strong for us so we can pray one for the other. As we're getting ready to come out of this year and go into a new year, I'm going to believe God for you and with you. 
in Jesus' name. So I want you to believe God with me as we touch and agree together for others. This is what intercessory prayer is truly all about. Somebody needs prayer. Somebody needs healing. Somebody needs deliverance. And don't think that you don't need prayer. Everybody, I don't care how great the preacher is. I don't care how anointed the person may seem. They need prayer. Your mother needs prayer. Your father needs prayer. Your brothers and sisters need prayer. Your pastor needs prayer. The deacons in the church, oh my God. You think somebody can come and say, well, I got it all together. I'm going to tell you something. We weather many storms. And because God is a deliverer, he's a very present help in a time of trouble and need. God says, I'm going to bless you. And I'm going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough for you to receive. Can you do that right now? He's a way maker. He will do exceedingly and abundantly if you can just believe right now in Jesus name. Area code 313-838-1035. We're going to take a real call. I bless you call. Good morning, it's Mother Dickerson from Maine. God bless you, Mother Dickerson. Yes, I'm calling for prayer for my rights, you know, for my knee down. I can't move it too good. Lord, I please pray that I I want to keep walking. I had to help myself. If, if that go down, I don't want to be able to move around too much. So I'm trying to do it. So please pray that this legs will pick up and move. I can move it better, please. Mother Dick, Mother Dick, bring the thing right, right leg. And the leg. Right now, by His Spirit, may the Spirit of God in Jesus' name it now. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. I'm saying for Mother Dickinson to be healed in Jesus' name. Linda, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. I was calling to ask you if you would pray for my daughter. Um, she has COVID. She says she's feeling better, but um, she's having a little problem breathing. So if you could pray for her, I would greatly appreciate I it. I want her to not breathe the house air. Try to get fresh air. In the name of Jesus. The spirit yes. of God to heal her right now. Yes, that she thank can you. Leave this mothering thank effect you. of COVID. I be yes. I bind it and I the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're out of breath. I come against yes. that spirit now. May she yes. be healed in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. And God bless you. The lines are open. Area code 313-838-1035. Call that number now. Any of you that know somebody that got cold, call in Jesus' name. A little cold is just a little cold. The pneumonia and the flu are two different things. But when it comes down to COVID, we got to we got to do warfare with that spirit. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. When I went through the hospital to see Paul and, and visit with the family, when I walked into the emergency care, all I seen was room after room after room with people with the traits in their mouth. And I was so discouraged. And then I went from one hospital to another one. And the same thing. The rooms will just feel the people with COVID. They had the trait in their throat. And I said, God, please have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord. 
in the name of Jesus. And I begin to cry out to God because sometimes you don't know the seriousness that somebody else is going through. And your heart gets grieved and many times it gets heavy. And you will say, well, that's not me. Oh, well, oh my, uh -uh, don't say that. We're here to bear the infirmities of those that can't even pray. The devil's tried to shut them up totally. But God wants us to pray. This is important. It's just emergency. So as I begin to believe God, I'm going to believe God with you. And I want you to believe God with me. In Jesus' name. Pick up the phone and dial. You may know somebody that got COVID. Let's pray for them. Right now, I just need two or three to gather together in that name. And you need to call them out. I don't want nobody to know this is personal. What are you talking about? Their life is on death door. What, they don't want nobody. Wait a minute. You should want somebody to pray for you. Where do you get that from? Pride is a destructive force. It go before a fall. People are falling into hell like raindrops. And multitudes are going to heaven. Listen, we got work to do. We got to preach this great gospel until Jesus comes back. And I'm asking many of you that's been up under attack to come now in Jesus' name. And for this, we'll give him praise. Amen. Call that prayer line number, area code 313 838 one zero three five call now i'm going to believe with you but we don't have no time to waste this is an emergency in jesus name we're going to play another song may god bless you amen god bless you facebook partners and friends god bless you this morning would to god we'd have more but many are so afraid and been caught up in different areas. We got to pray. Yes, we do. I had to, I didn't eat this morning, so I had to get some juices or something in my body. I rested, and I thank God for the rest. But a lot of times, <laughs> When you're fighting, you got to fight up that king's highway. And sometimes when you're fighting, you fight double hard. So I'm asking God to really give me the grace that I need to, to get up that king's highway. I fought with that spirit COVID. Yes, I did. And I won. But I had to talk to it. I told it, I said, no, you're not taking my life. I bind you up in Jesus' name, and I plead the blood. God brought me out of it. it. took me about three or four days, but it was a powerful thing because I'm determined to get to the throne. And I want him to say one thing, just like everybody else. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou have been faithful over a few things. Therefore, I'm going to make you rule over many. I'm just going the way of the kingdom. Will you go with me? I believe that. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> I want you to believe with me. In Jesus' name. I love you. I thank God for you. Many of you I know and many of you I don't know. But I just want you to know I do love you. Thank you for being there. No, I, I know. I know. I know you're saying, well, Pastor, I understand that you're here night after night, but I don't seem to get anything well you don't get nothing but the word of god you got something and you need god's word that's all i have i don't have anything else i'm going to try to get a few things done in this new year in fact i'm going to do the best i can to get five books out i need to get them out right away and i really need your prayers that i could do that and your support because it takes a lot to do this kind of work. I've been more focused now 
than I have in my whole entire life. I see Jesus coming. And I want you to pray that we can make that appointment with God, just like you. Come on, let's make that appointment with God. Let's believe God and let's trust him and let know that he is in Jesus' name. I got work to do, but I got to do it for the kingdom. Please join us. Let's do this for the glory of God right now. I'm asking God to bless right now in Jesus' name. Your loved ones, they need your prayers. We need your prayers. Hold all of us up. I know if we do anything, God could get the glory. He can. If we make it up in our minds, we're going to do this. It ain't always about me. Sometimes it's about somebody else. In Jesus' name. So I'm asking God to do that now. By the Spirit of the Most High God. In Jesus' name. I thank God for that right now. Come on, somebody. Let's get in there. Let's believe God. I know some things I got to do for an emergency, and I'm going to believe that I can get that done. <laughs> and you pray me through, especially this morning. I believe that I can do this to the glory of God. Amen. So let's go forward. As this song is getting ready to go off, I just tell you that I love you. Thank you for being there. So many of you, wonderful. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name right now. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. God is here. God is here. Love is here. 810 right now. In Jesus' name. We'll take our next call. Sister Thompson, good morning and God bless you. Good morning, uh, Pastor Tate. God bless you also. I'm calling to ask if you pray for my, my niece. That she has uh, COVID. And she's been in the hospital for two weeks and she's on the ventilator. So I'm calling to ask care for her. Hmm. What's her name? Mm -hmm. Her name is Valerie Hayes. God, God. Valerie Tate. Hayes. Hayes. Yes. God's been praying for Valerie Hayes. Uh huh. She's on and the then I'll God, she needs right now. Yeah. A miracle. First thing, yeah. you better love it. Mm -hmm. But God, let the Spirit of God come upon her. Don't let her body shut down. Mm -hmm. I rebuke you death in Jesus' name that she may live and not die in the name of Jesus. That's for everybody. Valerie, come on. Wake up. And come on and get up. God's getting the glory. In Jesus' name. He's breathing fresh air in those lungs. And he's giving yeah. strength. In Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Also, uh, I would like you to pray for myself also. Okay. Uh, I'm having pain, excruciating pain in my right uh, thigh. So you have having cramp pain? Pain, uh -huh. yeah. 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 Do you move around the line? No, I don't. Do you drink Gatorade? Gatorade. Gatorade. No, I don't. No, I don't drink Gatorade. The electric light is, is down. And so a lot of times you have to drink Gatorade. Have you ever seen people play basketball or different football sports in the summertime? And you would see them with this big bucket of Gatorade and they would pour it on each other's heads. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Isn't it? Well, they have to drink that so they so their muscles and electrolytes don't lock up. God's spirit to heal you right now. 
in the name of Jesus, we decree it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. What's your mailing, your mailing address? My mailing address. I have a PO box. You can call uh, this number. I'm going to give you a number to call right now. I think. Uh, okay. If you call this number, they'll wait. And they're going to give you everything you need. This will be a blessing to us. Uh, we really, really need people to help us. <laughs> okay. Sometimes yeah, I know. I think we need help, but, but we do. We do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to mm-hmm. give you a reason. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and uh, you should credit you for uh, uh, every uh, 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 you want to do. Mailbox, mailbox, mailbox. That will be a blessing. Mm-hmm. And this is for and everybody, everybody that's tuning us in. In the name of the mm-hmm. Jesus. Let me get my right mm-hmm. now. Uh, Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Bless you too. All right. Bye-bye. All right. We give God praise for that. Area code 313-838-1035. And we also have a 24-hour prayer line number. Many of you can call this number. It's 313-279-0558. 313-279-0558. Five five eight. Call that number if you will. In Jesus' name, Amen. We're fighting our way up the King's Highway, and this is for everybody. Because a lot of people, you know, we know, we all know that need prayer. They need the Lord like never before. In Jesus' name. All right, we'll take our next caller. Good morning, Pastor Tate. Good morning, sir. God bless you. This is Melvin. Everything been okay? God bless you. Good, Melvin. We're here. We're here. Okay, when we here, I called for a couple of problems. My niece, she's 34 years old. She found out that she got COVID. I need you to pray for her, and I need you to pray for me. My doctor's been playing with my pain medicine and stuff, and my landlord, I owe him $100 for rent. He had, like, it's $1,000 because his light's on in my name, and he like tripping, so I need you to pray for me because I have to help my grandkids get their toys. So the landlord like tripping, so I just need you just to pray for me and pray for my relationship. I got a lot up against you right now, Pastor Tate. Okay, okay. I'm going to ask God for you, Melvin, to be blessed and proud of the power of the God. And I'm going to thank you for some of the things that we go through. Right. I know that, Pastor Tate. Deliver right now right. you and that hundred dollars will come in because you're going to do it for you. You're going to do it more than what you're going to do with God. So God's getting out of the place. Amen. Amen, Pastor Tate. I really need it. I need it. Okay. Especially for you. Okay, Pastor Tate. You been okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How you been? How you been? Well, it's good to hear your voice. You sound beautiful. Yeah. You sound wonderful. Yeah, you doing? sound wonderful. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging in there, to, uh, Pastor Tate. I'm not going to give up. I'm keeping all my faith in my higher power, and I still got love in my heart, and I'm still helping kids out, and I'm still doing my praying, too, and I'm praying for you. Thank you. I want Thank you to come to, to the New Year's service. service. Okay, I'll get over there right now. You know, the transportation kind of kind of hard, but I definitely want to get over there. Are you on the east or west side? Uh, I'm out here in e course. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, okay. sir. I'm out here in e course. I'm the one got bit by the dogs and the lawyer let let that case go. Mike Morrison let that case go. So now I got a, got another lawyer because my doctors them every time the lawyer call. They never answered the phone or nothing. So they right there messed my case up. Now what you do? Because he needed papers from them. All the medical records. 
Yeah, but I went down there. You can't. They way out there on Square Mile and Telegraph, and you don't never know when they there. They don't answer the phone or nothing. I've been trying to call for my medicine. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Huh? No, man. This is Dr. Edison. But was that the lawyer's doctor? No, sir. That's my doctor. Okay. Your personal doctor. My personal doctor. They just not taking care of no business. They won't answer the phone about my medication or nothing. No. Is it about COVID? I don't know what's going on with it. Huh? About COVID? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's okay. okay. Yeah, but, 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 but last in, week they called. You get your own uh-huh. personal, records. personal records. You keep a file. Okay. So, okay. Right. Okay, I'll do that type of tape. Right. All right. Okay, you have a blessed day. I love you. God bless you and your family. You have a good and godly day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. Okay, Pastor Jay, have a blessed one. I give God, I give God some praise. All right, all right. We'll take our next call. Bless the Lord. Holy, how are you? How are you? Praise Him. Um, how's your daughter, Kendra? Because I remember you saying she was not feel like so real. You're so slow. Yeah, well. I just remember um, reading my cousin. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. She said she had COVID, so that's it for her. You know, th- this is crazy, but um, I, I want to confess and then um, repent because I know that, you know, we all are susceptible and get tempted from time to time. So I want to confess less than just for sake getting renounced because. I know that, you know, it, it, it doesn't pay off. You know, what what happens is God gives you a right to your back. <laughs> and so nobody likes that because God is one who will, you know, chase you and get you on the right road and, and cause you not to do that thing again. You know, and I, how many times he has to do that, that's up to you because you, you got to repent. People got to just got to repent or else they'll get COVID, that, you know, anything could it happened really that God would allow to cause you to repent, cause you to go the other way. So, um, praise God. And if you do confess it and repent, he'll heal you. He'll heal you. And he'll deliver you. Right? Huh? Huh? And he'll deliver you, right? He will. He will, because I know. I have experienced this. But, um, so, do you know I had a dream about you? Well, good. Was it good? Was it good? <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, wait. But you had to decide, okay, was this from the enemy? Was this from God? And God let you know. You just have to ask him and you show. You ask him and he will let you know. If it was scripture, the word of God, God. It was something flushy. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. God bless you. Amen. We give God the praise. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning. This is Vance Pastor Cheryl. This is a God's day. I want to thank God because God getting ready to break the chains and yokes, Pastor. Of right now, faith bless my sister. She's come to the church. The God give her a chemical. She's smart. Went to college, and her mother. I used to drop her off at home. The God give her balance. But I want to, as you pray for uh, the brother. They say he owe a hundred dollars, and the enemy coming up against him against his home. That's the most important thing. God has given so much favor. He, the just the the money of the rich have been laid up for the just. Seva is an awesome program. C E V A, M S, which it comes to M S H, Michigan uh, Housing Association. Uh-huh. I'm believing God for him to get um, his rent paid for a year. And the money that he saved that he gonna give to the church. I'm praying for uh, Jerome because he had a mental breakdown. 
I'm praying for every minister, every person that's sick. The new listeners we got in California to, to Florida, they can call in because this is a breaker's anointing. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying also that you get that new Zell, which is S-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, which you get all the money. It's a Zell account you can set up in your bank. That is direct to you. Shanda the Boko Shata Zell Z E L L. It's a Zell account. Come through Chase or any bank, and it goes directly to you, man of God. I'm believing that right now, and we cancel every plague, curse of sickness, and send it back to the pit of hell in which it came, because God is able and He's a deliverer in the name of Jesus. And just like Pastor, I know you're working a lot of things, but God working it out. P.O. Box 27591, brothers and sisters, uh, it's a P.O. Box. P.O. Box 27591, Detroit, Michigan, zip code 48227. You can abbreviate it, SWM, which says for the supernatural ministry, which God gave us back on the river, a living water, Grand River. In the name of Jesus, it is so in the name of Jesus and put a hedge around our family and the safe traveling mercies and the homeless sick and shut in in Jesus name. Amen. I love you. Bye bye. Amen. <laughs> All right. The lines are open. Area code 313-838-1035. We got a short time before we go off, but I need you to hold fast to what the Bible said. The promises of God, they are yea and amen, simply mean so be it, because God already promised you. Yes, he did. And um, we got a little technical difficulty, but we're going to get this straightened out in the new year, because sometimes we come on a little bit too strong in the station, then not strong enough for our Facebook partners and friends and YouTube and Roku and Apple and all of that. But I want you to be able to hear us clearly. The people everywhere, you know, I know, we know, need prayer. And here it is, COVID seemed to attack people and everybody's getting quiet Say, I better be quiet, the devil might hear me. I don't care what the devil hear. This is a spiritual warfare. We are engaged in a supernatural battle. Pride is the only thing that messes people up every time. I've seen so many prideful folk in my time that have totally missed what God is ready to give. If you call now, in the name of Jesus, right now, I want to believe God that God is going to take the crooked place and make it straight. But how can God straighten out a situation unless he could get you to pray. Will you pray right now in the name of Jesus? And I'm grateful and thankful to God because he's faithful. I got a lot of work to do and I'm getting into different technologies so that I can reach the masses for Christ. And there's different ways that can be done. But I just need good people around me, people that will believe with me, will stand on the word of God with me and trust God with me in Jesus name. Call that number now, area code 313-838-1035. I need partners. I need people who have what they call a partnership in a ministry because all this goes for you too. And because God has ordained it to be so, God wants you to be blessed and found with the favor of God. It's not about us. It's about the Lord. And if we ever needed the Lord before, we need him now. And so many people say, well, I don't think I need God right now. I do need God right now. And if you could believe God with me, let's weather this storm. In Jesus' name, I bind up the enemy. I loose the liberty of God. And I'm believing God with you. In Jesus' name. Call that prayer line number now. Area code 313-838. One, zero, three, five. We'll take our next call. Hey, Pastor Tate. Yes, sir. 
This brother Melvin calling back. I heard the lady say that they will pay my rent for a year. Do do did she need that number with you? No, she called it out. I'm asked Cheryl to call it out again. Okay, well, can you have her to call it out now? Listen for it, please. Please listen for it. But they will pay your rent for one year. Okay, yeah, because this landlord I got, you know, they like tripping. I mean, I ain't never been late with my lights or nothing, and they making a big thing out of it. I had to get my kids up for Christmas, and they making a big thing out of it. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, I will. Ass. I think that's going to be market. Oh. Luke 1124. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I believe it, Pastor Dave. All right. Okay. Okay. So, if they give that number. Okay, then. Thank you. God bless you. Love you, Pastor Tate. Amen. God bless you all, Pastor Tate, and your family. Blessings be upon you all and all the body of Christ in the national. Blessings be upon you all. Um, I uh, was calling in for prayer for my neighbor that sister passed, uh, sister uh, Patricia Watson that passed um, on Christmas Eve. And I just, now her sister it, um, my neighbor, she done struggling and got sick. She got yes, I, she's sick. Uh, she she don't know if it's uh, a sinus infection or COVID. No, everything is good. No, it's not. I told her she don't have it. Yeah. Yes. 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 I told her she don't have it. No, she don't. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So. Can I I pray for my um, son? I pray for his salvation, his healing, his deliverance. And I pray for my two sisters healing and, and healing for myself in Jesus' name. Right now. Right now. The spirit of the Lord God, 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 in yes, Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, that now. Yes. And Pastor Tate, have a blessed New Year's. Even in the New Year, may you, you be healthy and prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Lines are open. Area code 313. 313- Eight three eight one zero three five. We're having a New Year's service. I want many of you to come out. This would be a tremendous blessing, and I'm sure if you come out and let the Lord bless you, you're going to be blessed. And that's at the Body of Christ at nine five 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 St. Mary's in Detroit. Listen, I'm having the time of my life just believing God for others to be blessed and found with the favor of God, and you can be found with the favor of God right now. I know it gets difficult. I know it gets hard. And there's some things that we all go through at some point or another. But God is a good God. Yes, he is. He promised you something. And because he's a promise keeper, I'm a firm believer that God is ready to open up corridors of doors, especially for you. I love the the word of God says, I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. And A lot of times people don't know that God will catch you at a point where you figure like you're going down here and raise you right back up. Come on, let him strengthen you right now. He's ready to keep you encouraged. Keep looking up. Don't look down because people that's looking down can't get up and can't go up. But there's a place in God, a place where he's taken our place. And I know that he can do anything but fail in Jesus name. Area code 313 838 
Good morning, Pastor Tate. I'm just calling to ask for prayer for my family. My grandmother passed on the 17th of um, two weeks ago. She was 93 years old. She leaves behind nine children and 83 grand grandchildren wow. all together. Today was her home going. I just ask that you pray for my mother and her family Today. as they get through this. Yesterday was her home going. Yesterday. On Tuesday was. She was short. Sure. Yes. She had 90, 90, 90, 90. Yes, she did. She's 93 years old. She had 83 grandchildren 80. all together. Wow. That's a big thing. Yeah, yes, it is. And you and you were positive. And look at you. Yeah. Huge, huge, strong, strong. Correct. 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 Because right, right, right now, now, you're going to have to lead the way. And that way, that way, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, stop it right now. It's a sad thing. It seems as though we're leaving, but we're leaving with you to be yours. Because yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, right. And to make it to that, to that number, number of days, especially now, in Jesus' name, bless your daughter now. Jesus, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Lines are open. Area code 313-838-1035. Amen. All right. We give God the praise. I want many of you to pray with me about my son, Caleb. I haven't seen him in four or five months now three or four months. And I want to see my son. Amen. We're supposed to all go out to dinner, me and my daughter and my son and my grandson. I'm asking God to do that. It's not a lot that I ask for, but it's something that I need. Every now and then I'm going to lay eyes on my children. You know that. You do too. And that's a blessing within itself. So I'm asking God to do that by his spirit. And I'm asking God to bless you and your family. Area code 313-838-1035. I want to thank God for all of you. Don't forget, I shared something, some news with you. We're on YouTube and you can go to YouTube and you'll see live. That means we're on live. And then you can go back and get the tape. And it's a blessing when we pray over you and your loved ones, maybe prophecy may have came out or a word you want to keep, you can get it and download it, and that'll be a blessing to you on your phone. We're going to have an app in about a week or so. When we get the app together, we're ready to do the work of the kingdom. And so we thank God that we've been working on something that's getting better and better, and the Lord is blessing us in Jesus' name. It's called the Lifeline Prayer Line. You can play it 24 hours a day, and it's 24-hour prayer. I want to thank God for my volunteers, and I, I've got to do something, so I'm asking God to give me what to do, and I'm doing something every day for people that's willing to work in the vineyard and work in the kingdom, in Jesus' name. Area code 313-838-1035. Call that number right now while we're on the air. Then we have a 24-hour prayer line number. That's 313-279-0558. When we're not on the line, you can still get prayer. We have some committed people that have committed themselves to be intercessors and prayer warriors, and that's a blessing in Jesus' name. It's a lesson in every blessing, and I thank God for that. I love you with the love of the Lord. Let's be about its business. Let's press and pray. And believe God each and every day for what he's ready to do right now in Jesus' name. He's going to do it for you. Yes, he is. If you can only believe God is ready to give you the greatest miracle ever. I got a spirit of 
expectation in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Let's believe God together. Let's weather this storm. We're going through it. We're getting ready for Gabriel to blow the trumpet of Zion. God is about to stand up. United States, he says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Oh, come on, Father. Move swiftly, quickly. Move in a hurry now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we give God the praise. I thank God for all of you. Area code 313-838-1035. Let's believe God together. As we believe God together, God is going to bless you. And I'm looking for you to rush right now and be a blessing to this ministry. We're getting ready to go into the new year. And I need your help. Yes, I do. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Area code 313-838-1035. Let's believe God together. Amen. Well, we give God the praise for that. Uh, the countdown has started. It looks as though we're headed just a few days. The day is Wednesday. And then we got Thursday and Friday as New Year's Eve. And I'd like for many of you to come. <clears throat> That'll be a blessing. We're going to start the year off running. You know, I, I like Jesse Duplantis. I really like him. I, I listened to his testimony about heaven. I thought you can find it on YouTube, too, of how he was caught up into heaven. And I thought that was the greatest testimony I ever heard in my whole entire life. And I love it. I really, really love it. I ask the Lord to just bless all of us to have a vision or a relationship with God just like that. Because I ask God truly, God, I want to be sucked up and taken on a tour through heaven. In Jesus' name, I've been through enough hell, look like. I don't want to go there, that's for certain. But yet, when you want to go to heaven, you got to just shed off everything of this world and shed on everything for the kingdom. Listen, you can't stay here. God's going to take us up one day. And one day we're going to come out this physical body and every, we all must appear before the presence of God. And there's a day called accountability, but we're going to give an account. Don't think that you're not going to get an account. Everybody has got to give an account. So I'm asking many of you to come on so that we can be in that place where God can get the glory out of our lives. I really feel like he can and he will and he shall. If you can only believe, I believe God. Yes, I do. The work I do is very hard. And there's a lot of people that would be against it because they're territorial people. Have you ever been in the church? The church was territorial. They're territorial. I told me God said, so I'm, I'm